Hey everyone, Dan Heilman here, and this is going to be another Rage of Destiny video. Today, I want to show you my eternal battlefield run. Um, I was finally able to clear the first level. Um, I recorded it all, so I'm just going to play that and uh, enjoy. All right, so I'm not sure if these reset or whatever, but this is fresh. So all you got to do is get to those ballistas and knock down those towers. Sorry, the wall, the gate, whatever it's called. All right, so I'm uh, decently powered above the enemy team now, so um, I should be able to blast through here pretty quick. You also get all the different uh, upgrades as you go through, so. All right, leech first node, that is amazing. Uh, you really want to go for leech always, because especially if you only have like one good lineup you're using, you always want that leech. So that was a clutch first one to get. Should be able to keep everyone topped off just with that 15%, uh, but I think I do get more leech as well. I think I will, I should say. All right, so that was very fast, very easy. More leech. <laughs> nice, double leech to start. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna get this tanky boy over here. He, uh, I heard he's pretty good. We'll save that for later. Um, just check real quick. Yeah, I'm on full health, so we'll save that for later. I will go through and clear all these, because um, it's good materials, right? And if you've got a lot of leech, uh, you should be able to clear these all without really taking damage. Put my two melee in front. Scorpion boy. I'll probably replace him. I'm not sure who with, but uh, he's okay. He's got some life leech built into his kit, and when he gets really high level, um, the life leech actually goes to like a random ally, so it's kind of cool. And he's decently tanky, and he goes underground and heals as well, so that's kind of why I'm using him. I don't know what it means by HP recovery. The stun one is kind of cool, but it, that damage reduction is always very useful, just straight damage reduction, so I went with that one. Basically the team is two melee, the first two cards there, um, and then that demon girl who just used her ultimate right there is kind of like my carry. She does damage and summons those little uh, purple uh, puppies running around. Then the next girl is my CC champion. She uh, freezes people in place and she has some life steal built into her kit. And the last one is Callie. She's a support champion, so she basically just like stands behind your carry and buffs her. So that one's kind of interesting. Deal 15% max health to all enemies at the beginning of the battle. Alright, one more, and then we get to break down the door. Again, my team's full health still, so that leech is uh, huge. Although Callie doesn't really get the leech, because she doesn't really attack that much, although she just attacked right there and got a kill. <laughs> I guess she does attack. But she's hurt already. I think I accidentally deleted her gear too. Um, I switched leveling from another person to her. Ooh, more damage reduction. Okay, we'll take that. Alright, one catapult. Another catapult. Boom. And the door's down. Now we have access to the little city. 
But we're gonna get this one loot box over here, see what we get. Easy peasy. Ooh, crit rate. And twenty five percent crit rate, that's pretty huge for your whole team. Epic staff, nice. I don't have anyone dead, so can't revive anyone. You can see my team power is going up like crazy. All the different runes I'm getting, uh, they stack throughout the whole fight. So, kind of cool. I like it's kind of like uh, I used to play World of Warcraft. Uh, it's kind of like Torghast, right, from Shadowlands, where you get all these abilities and they last throughout the entire dungeon. And they make you really strong by the time you get to the end. So, pretty cool. I like the concept. Ooh, more crit rate. Yeah, I'll grab that one. You can see I have almost 250k power, and this one's only, what, 90k, so I'll smash this one again. The power creep's pretty heavy, though. Um, I tried the second dungeon in here, and uh, I only got like 40% of the way through it, so. And I just unlocked the third one, I think, as well. Crit damage, because I already got a lot of crit rate, so I got some crit damage there. That should help with my damage. <laughs> and let's do the dragon. 55k power, so it should be pretty easy again. I probably wouldn't copy the heroes I'm using because I kind of just pick them randomly and they're working. I don't really have like a proper carry, um, but then again, the day the game's only a couple days days old, so I don't think anyone knows who's good, <laughs> especially at end game. That was very easy. Smash that one. Now we get some rewards. These are very hard to get, so that's cool. An artifact, that is my first artifact. So I'm pretty happy about that. And a axe. Cool. All right, that's it. All right, that's that. That's the video, hope you enjoyed it. Go down there, smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already and have a great day everyone. I'll be making content on Summoner's Glory and Rage of Destiny for the foreseeable future. I'm having a blast with this game. So, okay. See you everyone.